You know, we all chat with AIs every day, but have you ever stopped to think about how they actually remember you? Like from one conversation to the next? For a while, we kind of thought we had it figured out, mostly by looking at how ChatGPT works. But it turns out there's another AI out there, Claude, that's been hiding a secret, a totally different way of remembering things. And today, we're going to crack that code. So let's just dive right into the big question, right? How do these large language models really remember anything at all? Is it just like one giant endless text message thread? Or is there something, you know, a bit more clever going on under the hood? Well, it turns out the answer is way more interesting than you'd probably guess, and it's all thanks to one researcher who went digging. All right, so let's set the stage here. Think of it like a tale of two AIs. In one corner, you've got ChatGPT. Now, people have poked and prodded it, and we have a pretty good idea of how its memory works. It basically boils down to this. It makes little summaries of your past chats and just kind of stuffs them back in for context. Simple. It's the method we all know. But then, in the other corner, you have Claude. And Claude, well, it's a total mystery. It's doing something fundamentally different. So how in the world did we figure this out? I mean, it's not like they published a manual. Nope. This came from a really clever investigation, basically reverse engineering Claude's memory, piece by piece. So let's follow the breadcrumbs and see exactly how you crack the code of a billion-dollar AI. Now, here's the part that's pretty wild. You'd think an AI like this would be a total black box, right? Super guarded. But Claude was surprisingly cooperative. The investigator, Manthan Gupta, said it was actually willing to talk about its internal tools and how its prompts are put together. That transparency is what made this whole deep dive possible in the first place. And the method wasn't some complex hacking or anything like that. It was really just a clever, persistent conversation. You ask Claude about its structure, then you dig into each part, then you circle back and ask the same questions in a different way to check for consistency, and then, the final step, you test its behavior to see if it's actually telling the truth. It's just solid detective work, which gives us real confidence in what was uncovered. So what did all that digging actually reveal? Well, it revealed a complete memory blueprint. It turns out that every single time you send a message to Claude, it's not just seeing your words. It's seeing your words wrapped inside a context that's built from four distinct parts. Let's take a look at the actual architecture of its memory. And here it is, the whole shebang. First, there's a system prompt, which is like its core, unchangeable instructions. Second, this really interesting section called user memories, we'll get to that. Third is the conversation history, so what you've been talking about. And finally, number four, is your actual 